Welcome, Achievers, to another episode of MySciences.com Online Labs. This is Mr. Aguirre. Today's lab comes from the Sally Wright Space Science series, and this is the inside story of Saturn. The objective is to understand why Saturn's rings appear to be different thicknesses. And we're going to be doing a thin ring experiment. Let me give you some background information on Saturn's rings. Saturn's rings are considered to be super thin. They were first identified by Galileo when he pointed his telescope up in 1610. However, his telescope wasn't very powerful, so he only saw what he referred to as ears on the side of the planet. It wasn't until 40 years later, in 1650, that Danish astronomer Christian Huygen was able to point a much more powerful telescope and identify the rings more clearly. We now know that there are seven rings, and they're named A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. However, they were named in the order they were found. So the closest ring to the planet is D, followed by C, B, A, which would have been the first one to be identified, F, G, and E. Now the rings themselves, or the, the, the width of the ring, is 480,000 kilometers. Just to give you an idea how much that is, it's 300, almost 300,000 miles. And just to give you another idea of just how wide that is, if you were to travel from the Earth to the Moon, you would only be covering 384,400 kilometers. That's almost 100,000 kilometers less than crossing from one end to the other of the, uh, of the rings. The rings are made out of rock and, s and snow, but it's more of a puffy ice or snow rather than an ice cube. And there's millions of these that go around the planet, almost like little asteroids or little uh, uh, moons going around the uh, planet. The snow can be as small as a snowflake or as large as an igloo. And the thickness of the ring itself can be as thin, remember we were talking about it being super thin, can be as thin as a meter, so just a few feet. All right, let's go ahead and do the lab. What you need for the lab is just a regular uh, CD. Doesn't have to be, you're not going to damage it, so it could be new. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it, and you're going to put it so that you can see it at an edge, and then you're going to tilt it just a little bit. And you see that even if you just tilt it just slightly, you see a much more bigger area, a much larger area. And the reason is because of your perspective, because of where you're looking from. And the satellites and the telescopes look when different angles. So that is why the rings appear to be different thicknesses. And that was the ring experiment. And this is Mr. Aguirre signing off.